For the greyhound, racing itself is frequently a painful and crippling business. Paddy Sweeney is one of the sport's most experienced and respected vets. On average, 10% of all runners on every track tonight are carrying injuries before they start. They've got an injured toe, torn muscle, a strained tendon, or perhaps an arthritic joint. 10% have an injury starting off. Well, the most common site of injury, of course, is in the foot, because the foot is the first point of contact with the ground. When a greyhound is running around uh, these uh, acute turns, that foot has got to be twisted, and you get this rotary force, and that's what causes the injury. How many greyhounds have been smashed up in the last 67 years? In all those years, 4,000 acute injuries, we'll say, three times that of non-acute or chronic injuries. So we put it down at, we'll say, 12,000 greyhounds a year. 12 times 67, you tell me how much that is. 12 times 67. You're talking close on a million dogs. I've been smashed up, yes. We're seeing the equivalent of sort of 360,000 dog units, if you like, racing around each year. And there is actually quite a small rate of injury. So I don't think things can be, can be that bad, really. How many more thousands of greyhounds are going to be smashed up until the animal livers get in on this act? The League Against Cruel Sports. They haven't had a look at greyhound racing yet. What are they doing? they could spend a million pounds a year on a campaign against greyhound racing. And I would think that that will happen, as sure as I'm, my name is Paddy Sweeney, and it might even happen in my lifetime. 